In my thoughts and in my dreams They're always in my mind These songs of hobbits, dwarves and men And elves, come close your eyes You can see them too Hey! This, of course, is a follow-up to my episode on dice, which you knew was inevitable. Actually, I always knew I was going to do one on this particular episode. Um, I was actually going to save these for uh, another episode further down the line, uh, you know, a, kind of a holiday gift episode, but I kind of wanted to do this now because it's just kind of logical, obviously. Um, some of you may or I mean... Th this is kind of an uncommon thing, and you may have seen these before, but probably not. Um, there's, there's kind of accessories that you may be unfamiliar with when it comes to dice. Um, if you've seen the Pirates of the Caribbean movies, or if you've played a number of dice games, you've probably heard of dice cups. Um, these are one of the more uncommon ways of rolling dice, and you've probably never thought of using them in the context of playing D&D, &D, but they're actually rather fun and very few people use them in D&D, so, you know, hey, that's actually a very cool way of doing it, and I approve. And actually, there's a lot of people who specialize in artisanal dice cups, and I have a few that uh, I personally own, but there's a lot of different kinds, and if you look online, you can find a lot of different types, but here's a couple that uh, I particularly like, and these make, a, these make some really good gift ideas. So if you go looking, um, you can find some on your own, um, but, but yeah, go searching around and you can find some really, really classy ones and cool ones. For instance, these are made of leather, and um, as you can tell, they have these little runic scripts on them. Um, this is kind of a little fuzzy kind of suede leather, and they have uh, kind of Tolkien runes on them. Very cool. And this is a more kind of um, refined leather with gold runes on them. And the way it works is, you know, you put the dice in, and then you kind of, you can put the lid on them and shake them around. In fact, I will do that now. I got my, my, my dice bag is much heavier now that I have all the kind of funny dice in them. I actually am going to take a lot of these dice out because um, I don't like really heavy sacks. <laughs> I don't I don't like heavily laden sacks. I only like to keep um, I only like to keep my elite set of dice in these. So so my, my sack is ni nice and light and the luck the luck doesn't seep out into the inferior dice. But you know, you can you can when you're doing a two hit roll it's actually kind of fun. So you put your you know you put your D twenty or your you can take your collection of, if you're rolling a fireball dice or your damage dice, which is the multiple number of dice, you put it in here, and there's... It makes that really cool sound. Or if you got all those D6s in there, you got... Put your fucking D6s in there. Yeah, you got... You got all those dice in there. It's actually kind of exhilarating, you know? And I, I, it, even the pickup on the camera doesn't really do it justice, you know? Yeah, it's kind of cool, isn't it? And then you can either do it one of two ways, right? You can either slam it down on the on the table, you go like that, and then this, you know, actually, you know, you don't want to actually do the lid on this, so you can slam it down, and then you pick the cup up, and it reveals them, and then there's your dice, and that's a perfectly fine way of doing it. Or if you're feeling daring, you can just whip, you know, whip the dice out of the cup, and they roll and skitter across the table, and they go off the table, and everyone's fucking pissed off at you. But hey, it's got balls, you know. You're rolling it like a man. You're rolling it like a gamer. Boom, right? So this is a really cool way of doing it. I've seen all sorts of dice cups. Um, you know, mostly people use these when they're playing kind of old school board games, um, liars dice. If you've seen the Pirates of the Caribbean movies, it's most famous when they're on Davy Jones's uh, ship and they're playing Liar's Dice. Um, there's also, uh, I think it's called Perudo. It's, it's another kind of type of Liar's Dice. It, actually, there was released, uh, uh, there was uh, kind of a, a special themed licensed version of Liar's Dice themed after Pirates of the Caribbean with special dice cups that were kind of you know, specially 
you know, piratey kind of dice cups. And those are actually kind of cool shaped. I don't know if you can necessarily find those anymore, but yeah, there's, th these are actually very cool. And I think I got these from Q Workshop. Um, these, I, I think I kind of got the last run of these that were, that were made, but I'm, you know, I'm fairly sure they made a new set. Um, th these, these were, I think these, you know, obviously these kind of look hand stitched. So I'm kind of a big fan of the handcrafted type ones. So dice cups, very cool. And I would not, yeah, oh, they, yeah, these are Q Workshop. So um, if you, if you like these in particular, these are, uh, According to the link, q-workshop.com, www.q-workshop.com. So, uh, although as I recall, a lot of the dice that fucking pissed me off were Q-Workshop, but the dice cups, good quality stuff. I like these a lot. Um, the second thing that I like a lot uh, when it comes to... Uh, and you'll rarely see these used, really, really rarely. And this is for the gamer who has everything. And you will be the talk of the table when it comes to uh, role-playing. When you show up with this, you will be the coolest guy there for at least a night. Um, our Dice Towers. And actually, when you saw me play Dark Tower, I, I really got excited to bring these. And I personally own them. It's, it's kind of a mood thing. I, I like to roll dice myself, but um, sometimes you're in the mood for the dice tower. Dice towers come in many shapes and sizes. Unfortunately, the only type of dice tower I normally see available is a really, really cheaply made, kind of chintzy version that you see sold in game stores. It's like a really kind of flimsy, clear plastic thing that's shaped like... They, it's, it's also called a dice boot and it's shaped like a boot that's of clear plastic and it's really flimsy and crap and it's not really that good. Um, a dice tower or dice boot is uh, it, it is shaped like a boot or a tower and you put dice in it and the dice roll around and they kind of come out the other end and then you look at the results and so that's you can see so you can see you can see how it either looks like a tower or it looks like a boot, depending on the which way you do it. And the way it fell over actually did not break it. Um, the, the cool thing about most dice towers is they're portable. They kind of fold down into a little shape, so they don't always look like this. And then when you want to play them, they assemble. So what, what, are they, what do you do with them exactly? Well, so you can see this one, and this one is actually kind of... Um, it's, it's not exactly handmade, it's, it, this one is obviously machined, and it's got a really cool design on it. Um, I got this one off eBay. In fact, most of the ones that you'll see, you'll get off eBay. Um, it's a really good place for, you know, either that or Etsy. Um, the, a lot of people kind of cross-promote. So you'll see guys with, you know, websites, Etsy sites, eBay, uh, really good places. So how do they work? <clears throat> so, um... Very easy. You got this tower, and you'll see it's got an opening up top. It's got an opening on the bottom. You want to roll your dice. You take your dice, and then you drop it in the top, and out comes, out it comes. And then you look at your result, and there you go. So it's very simple. You take it, and it goes. And you can do that with a lot of dice. You want to drop three dice in there, like for damage, and out they go. Now, you're going to lay it flat on a table, obviously, so they don't shift around and fuck around. Like, I'm not holding it like this and they keep rolling, but, yeah. So it's kind of cool that way. And it makes a really kind of cool sound when they rattle around. Um, if you look inside, it may be a little hard to see because the lighting's not too good. It's got these baffles inside it. It's got, it's got little, it's got pieces of wood, kind of like, if you ever saw The Price is Right, like the Plinko board where it's got little pegs inside of it. It's got little slanted slabs of wood inside of it that make the dice bounce around and, and jumble around and bounce. That makes that kind of cool rattling sound. And make sure it's got a nice little tumbling roll as it goes around inside there. And it's got that really nice sound and it's really fun. So you got that cool thing in there. And it's got this cool design. It looks really cool. So you got this thing standing in front of you. You got this thing, and so people were... 
if you don't have a lot of room on the table, if you got really cramped space, or if there's some dickweed who keeps rolling his dice off the fucking table, or if you're that dickweed who keeps rolling his dice off the fucking table, or if you just want kind of a, you know, it, it, it's... Your dice stays there. You know. Your dice stays right there. It's right there. It's cool, huh? All right? Um, it's, it's really handy, so... It, it's not going to go anywhere. Your dice don't escape. Um, I, I love these. Uh, and there's all sorts of different kinds. Um, this one is by far one of the coolest. Um, this is awesome. This, um, you know, this, this isn't exactly the same, you know, you can argue this one is like prettier because it's got kind of a, you know, it's got stained wood. It's, it's kind of like, I think this one is like, they, they say it's like laser etched or something like that. It, this is machined, obviously, and it's got kind of a little plastic, um, sheet on it that kind of makes it a little translucent and things like that. But, um, this one is handmade, um, and it's got like a felt lining and the baffles inside are felt lined. Um, this kind of reminds me of like a miniature golf type tower, you know? It's got that, it's got that feel to it. And there's just something about it that's kind of retro and old school. And I'm actually gonna do some stuff to this eventually. Um, I'm gonna buy some paints and kind of um, personalize this, like make the shield personal and maybe, maybe even kind of add some decorations along the top and add some miniatures on the on the battlements and stuff like that really personalize this you know put some things on the on the on the walls and stuff like this and I, I bought this and I, I believe this was on eBay um, and I, I really I think this was a fair for a fairly reasonable reasonable price I think this was like 30 bucks not counting shipping and I, he sells these um, he, he still sells these and I, I think they look a lot like this I think they all look pretty much like this um, no, I, I don't know the link, but I think if you just go to eBay and you start looking for dice towers, this is fairly obvious. Um, this, you'll find a lot of different designs for these. Some of them are kind of prefab, some of them handmade. And um, here's another one. This is this is a very prefab type one. This is another one by Q Workshop, and this is what it looks like. And that one's kind of cool looking too. Um, this one is obviously machined, and it comes in a kit. Uh, so this is this is very punch out. You know, it comes in little um, kind of a particle board series of sheets, and you punch it out, and it assembles, and it comes like that. And um, this is good. I've I've never used this before, but there's I mean this this is perfectly fine, uh, and it, it looks really cool. It looks it looks different, and this is a good gift. You know, this is something that that people would really appreciate. Um, you don't get many of these. You know, this is something that's, this is, this is unique. And a lot of people would prefer something that looks like this to this, maybe. This is actually much larger. Um, I, I believe it's going to be much larger. Well, actually, it is comparable in size. It's pretty comparable in size. It's a little larger. Um, the one thing I don't like about this is that it has a logo front and center. But even that, if you want to personalize it, it's, it's pretty cool. Um... This one I like the least just because it is very, very prefab. Um, but still, this is a good gift idea if you want to do something. It probably is the least expensive of all these. I'm pretty sure it is. But yeah, um, this one is so cool. And even this one does fold down. Uh, it is the least portable. But this one I would keep at home and play here. And again, so if this one has the, the baffles inside of it. Um, this one is also, sometimes if you're going to use one like this, um, it's, it's very narrow. So if you're going to use very large dice, um, or a lot of dice, you can actually jam these up. So I wouldn't go nuts trying to dump like 30 dice in here at once or trying to jam like the big fuck off dice. Like you're not going to dump one of these in there. It ain't going to work. You know, you're not going to jam it up, but like, um, I wouldn't try to throw the 10 commandments dice. I wouldn't try to, throw, <laughs> you know. That would be a bad idea. The critical hits dice ain't gonna fit in there. Um, this one, wow, it worked. I, I didn't think it would actually. It's a tight fit. It barely fits. You can't see it, but it barely, it, 
Yeah, it barely fits. You can roll. You can roll the critical hit dice. Barely. You have to. You have to jimmy it around a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, um, you have to be careful that the critical. The so a lot of dice, larger dice, won't necessarily work in the dice tower. You have to be careful. So this is like, yeah. Um, you got you got to treat them with care. Obviously, you, you're not going to go slamming this around. Uh, they're they're not indestructible. Um, yeah, ten. Well, let's see. This one is actually pretty sturdy because it's made of it's made of pretty sturdy wood. Ten commandments. Let's see what what commandment I break. There we go. Oh, oh. Uh, I shall I shall worship no false idols. See. Which is a shame. Well, I mean, well, actually, that, I can do that because, you know, I, well, I have my own issues with, you know, so, like, I, I can do that. It's not because you told me to, <laughs> but, you know, so I pass, I suppose. Um, uh, sex dice. I, I could roll the sex dice. Let's see. Sexual position dice. Here we go. Okay. Oh, castle. Tell me what sex position I should do. Um, she's wow. She's gonna sit on my face. Um, you can't make that out too clearly, but come on, focus. Trust me, it says she's gonna sit on my face. <laughs> yeah, she. Well, she is. Um, so I like this one a lot because. It's got the felt lining, um, it, it, and it just makes a cool sound, and you can probably dump a shitload of dice in here. Yeah, so it makes a cool sound. Um, very few people are going to have these. Uh, when you show up with one of these, um, people are actually going to be really envious of you. They're going to ask where you got it. It's kind, of a, it's kind of a keeping up with the Joneses type thing, and everyone, seriously, everyone at the table is going to be like, can I use it? They're gonna want to see you use it, and they're gonna be like, "Can I roll? Like, can I roll my two hit in your dice tower?" And they're gonna be like, "Give me a dollar," you know. <laughs> so um, you'll be popular for at least a night, you know. Um, it's cool. That's and that's really the bottom line for it is um, if you wanna if you wanna feel kind of special if if you wanna have a new way to it, it, it's a new dimension to it's it's just fun. You know, if you want to have some new kind of fun to playing, then that's what it's all about. Or if you just want to give somebody a gift, if you know a gamer and you want to give somebody a gift to really kind of put, to have them experience something new with games. Because I guarantee you, well, I don't guarantee you, but like, I virtually guarantee you that they don't have something like this. And th this is a very thoughtful gift. Uh, so they're going to, they're going to, you're going to expose them to something that's really going to change the way that they've experienced games. And so that's kind of cool. They're going to feel, they're going to be popular. Like, they're, they're going to, people are going to look at them in a new way, you know, when they play this game. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and it's, it's, I mean, it's not going to be, it's not going to be like false popularity. It's just going to be like, hey, wow, you, you know, you, you, you care about this game. You know, it's like, you brought this cool little, it's, you brought this cool little gimmick and you like this game so much you found something new. You found, you brought this to us, you know, you brought this cool little gizmo to us and this is really cool, you know, you wanna, y you showed this to us, you know, you know what I mean? So it's not like, oh wow, you brought this kind of shiny trinket to us and now we worship, you know, it's like, we all wanna do this now, we all kinda want one of these because we wanna, we wanna share in this. So. This is a really good gift, and this will improve everyone's day. You know what I mean? So it's very simple. It's one of these things that people just kind of gravitate towards because it's so much fun. And you, it's just that noise. You know, it's just... It's great. Um, it's that noise of putting some dice in a, ta in a dice cup. Oh, you could you could combine them. If you don't miss the tower completely, if you're not an asshole. 
See, that's the, that's fucking diceception right there. Bah. So yeah, um, this one is going to be surprisingly short as far as counter monkeys go. It's only going to be 20 minutes. So I'll wrap it up here. Um, so yeah, check it out. Just go on eBay and explore. That's how I did it. Um, these are only two, and who knows? This actually, if you're one of the, if you're one of the crafty types, these, uh, I can't do this shit at all. Uh, my talents obviously lie elsewhere. But um, if you're a crafty type, this is kind of machined. Um, this is machined. You know, this was designed in a computer. But like something like this, if you're kind of an arts and crafts type. This is something you can make, you know? This is, it's not, I mean, this isn't simple, because I can't do it, but if you're kind of an arts and crafts type, you can do this. I, I think you can do this, and so this is a good, if you want to make like a handmade gift, I think this is possible, you know? So, for that special someone in your life, if you know, if you know your way around, a, if, if you know your way around, the, the wood shop, if you took that in class and you can manage to do this without cutting off your hand like I would, then this is actually something you can do. Um, I don't have any designs for you, but if you can figure out a way to put like two or three baffles in a tower and kind of glue this shit together, you can do this, you know. So, until next time, uh, and if you know how to sew leather, you can make a dice cup. Because it'd be, be kind of hard to screw this up, or just get a leather mug from the Ren Fair and use that. Just don't have beer in it at the time or you're gonna have some issues. But until next time, enjoy yourself at the game and roll those dice in new and unusual ways. Just keep them on the table, would you? Or it doesn't count. <laughs>